Hey, what's going on, fellas? Today I wanted to share with you some information that took years and years to determine. Um, I have been an industrial carpenter for about the past seven years. Before that, I was in residential, but when you're doing commercial construction, you're always gonna be using tin snips for um, steel stud framing. I don't use these for uh, air ducts and stuff like that. I use them for cutting various gauges of steel studs. So I'm often cutting gauges of steel that it's not recommended you cut with snips. However, I do it anyway because I have a very strong forearm and I used to be a siding applicator. So I cut metal all day and plastic. At any rate, I wanna share with you two brands that are the best brands that I have ever used. And every time I've strayed away from this brand, um, I end up with a junk pair of snips that won't cut metal after the first couple of months. These here, are seven years old. You can see the uh, the gripping on the teeth is worn away there, so there's a little bit of a slick spot, but they still cut so well, I have not bought a new pair. Um, this is just uh, the pair I use for steel studs, and I try to not uh, beat this pair up. I do have a pair of a brand called Wiss that I often use here at my house. This is my home set. This is a set I take to work and is often left at work or in my car. Now, this brand here is probably the best brand of snips out there. Um, the Wiss company also sells scissors. So they've been in the shear business a long time. They um, sell different styles of um, cutting in for radius cuts, for left hands, all different types of um, cuts. They have probably the most diverse um, tip designs that you can find for the various jobs that uh, the HVAC industry would come across. I, however, only need these and they are a very good pair of snips, but I wanted to talk to you about the difference between the two brands. The reason I use this brand at work versus just going out and buying the Wiss is because of the leverage, okay? You see these two points on the, um, the tool? This is your fulcrum, and this is your the point where the force is being applied. Fulcrum, fulcrum, I don't know how you say it. This is your fulcrum, and this is your pivot. This is where your force is being applied. The greater the distance between these two elements, the more leverage you're gonna have. However, the trade-off is you need more distance. If we measure these two brands of snips, you can see that here with the Linux brand, we have six centimeters from center to center, from fulcrum to pin. On the Wisp brand, we have not even five and a half centimeters. And this is a notable difference when you're cutting through, say, 14 gauge metal studs all day. These don't have the same power. They don't have the same opening span either. If you look at the, um, the distance you can see that the uh, the Linux has just a little bit more angle required to close it which is fine you want more torque when you're gonna be cutting multiple types of metal multiple thicknesses I'm not gonna sit here and cut a bunch of metals and bore you guys with that nonsense I just want to share with you guys some uh, information from a professional. I, I, this is my career. I use this stuff every day. These I use in the shop almost every day. The Wisp brand, as I said, probably is better than Linux. However, I do not know, I have not seen a set with a pivot point that's that large. So Linux really knew what they were up to when they pulled this one off. I'm very proud of them for that. And that is why this is my weapon of choice on the job. As you can see, they even look a little bit better, which, you know, you get what you pay for. And, and these right here at times made me up to 70 grand a year. So definitely one of the best investments. I buy the most expensive tool they have for the job when it comes to that, because I take my job very seriously. And if you're like that, this is what you're gonna be looking for.